Elsewhere in my channel, um, I have a video on my dual doors setup, which operates from uh, an electric solenoid. Now, this is a dual doors controller that operates very simply, um, which I'll explain in a uh, in a short while. The reason that we go for a dual doors setup is basically fuel economy. Um, on mine I'm running 18 and a half, 19 psi on the high side and I'm running 10 psi on the low side and as said I control that through an electric solenoid. Now when I'm on level road and the engine is under no load, I can flick it into the low mode and run at 10 psi and save fuel. Um, this could be um, one litre per 100 k up to two litres per 100 k depending on, uh, on, on how you drive, how you push it. And the thing is on low boost you've really got to watch your, um, your EGTs. But anyway Going back to, uh, to this one, this is a way to set it up without any electrics. Um, it's from 3 Bar Racing. Darren sent me this um, late in January to try. I haven't gotten around to it, but I've sort of gone right over it and sussed out uh, how it works. And it really is quite simple. Basically, as you can see on there, we have a, P, and R. Now in the configuration that it's in now, A comes off your off your boost line, your direct way from your pickup point. Right? So at the moment, what goes through A comes out R. Now if I flick this switch, it switches from A to P. So basically what you can do is you connect up one to uh, one boost uh, doors and the other one to the, to, uh, to the second doors. So um, it doesn't matter which way you go, uh, either one to high or, or low. Now this switch on the side is not electric. It's actually just a manual switch that has a little cam inside it. And inside here is a shuttle valve that goes backwards and forwards and that is spring-loaded. So basically, that's in the normal position, which as I said, is allowing the boost to come through here and out through R. When I flick this, the little cam in the back pushes the shuttle valve across and just changes how the ports open up. So it then blocks that one and opens up this one. So it, it really is an, a non-electric and quite simple uh, way to manage it. I suppose the downside is that uh, it means you have to mount this somewhere inside the car uh, to be able to switch between high and low um, and the other one is that uh, although you're going to have one boost line inside the car which will go to your boost gauge so you just tee off from that to there you're going to have to have another two that go back through the firewall to your individual uh, doors valves hmm. so this is available from um, from Three Bar Racing, which is uh, Darren Dawes. Um, so I haven't tried it yet, uh, but it uh, I just haven't had the time. But it really is a very simple method of operation, albeit it may be a bit inconvenient um, to get three by boost lines through the firewall but um, you don't have the complications of any electrics. So, um, 
Yeah, I have no idea what they're worth. Uh, Darren didn't say anything to me, and I um, I haven't asked. Um, but when I do get round to it, I probably will put it in the car. But it's to try it. But it's very simple. There's really there's really uh, nothing um, that can go wrong with it. Now, if anybody wants to give it a go, give Darren a call.